So let's say, all right, let's take photography and painting, right? Yeah. Um, the message I usually portray in my paintings are not usually the messages I portray in my photography. Yeah. And even in my photography itself, I have different like you know messages that I'm really you know trying to put across. Um, so I recently finished a series on you know self discovery, right? Yeah. And then there's gonna be one that's gonna be about you know traveling, you know. So that's whole street now. And then that's like, you know, documenting life. And then there's also this conceptual, you know. So I feel like I don't want to say I have one message that I'm trying yeah. to push and agenda, agenda, <laughs> you know. But um, I try, I try to say what I see, even if I see a lot, you know. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to just say this thing's bad, but I'll also say this thing's also good, you know. I'm not trying to say that this thing is big, and I'm also trying to say this this thing is also small. So, like... Yeah, and that you are, Yeah, you, you know, like, if my... If some of my artworks contradict, that's because I'm saying what I'm seeing, right? Yeah. If I see people playing the mbira and an own is dancing his butt out with... Ichibuku and you and then this on another piece I'm saying saying no to drugs Probably it's like me saying yo There are people who are saying no to drugs saying no to drugs But then there are also people that are saying I'm having fun with this thing. Yeah. right? so it's kind of like it, I feel like in a way I'm just exhuming <laughs> stuff, yeah. You know just unwrapping and just yeah. yeah saying what I'm seeing like oh this is that and it's black and it's you know, it's there. Yeah, it's just there. And there, this is this thing is red. So, yeah, it's, it's red. There. It's there. This thing is white. Then that's there. However, you want to take it, that's up to you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because, of course, like there th there are things I would actually like not talk about in my art. Like definitely, like yeah, that's definite. But yeah. also, like if I'm free to say that, huh? That is that. Then let that be that. Because news can actually report on sport, mm. can report on like stocks, you can you can report weather. on business, weather, Anything. you know, everything, you know, mm. so like... To a degree, right? Yeah. yeah. In a yeah. way, artists are news reporters. In a way. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. In terms of, of, of that, right, you, you mentioned that you don't necessarily have like an overarching message, but you're just uh, portraying experiences as you come across them yeah. uh, how does your process work uh, i know you're a photographer you're a uh, visual artist as well uh, for those particular mediums um, how does your your process work you've seen something how do you know that what i've seen here is worth uh, turning into art and how do you go from there um if I just get like a like a strong feeling and like if I can get a strong message out of it and someone can learn something, you know, it's then I feel like it's worth mentioning. I'm like, there, there it is. Yeah. You know, because you never know who you're speaking to. Uh, you don't because like I may I may hang a piece in the gallery, right? But I'm not there saying, no, you don't go, you go. You don't know who's actually yeah. coming in. And how they experience that may change their life on some tremendous, <laughs> you yeah, know, maybe like level, a, you know, epiphany type thing. Yeah, you know, and yeah, that's basically that. Yeah. But the worst of it is me just saying, uh, "This is what it is." Uh, I, I don't know what to think about it. There's a bag. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to think about it. Make but it what you think, will. Make me help me think. Yeah. Because I also feel like the other reason why at an art show, right, uh, artists have conversations with other people is for them to actually understand the art better, you know, because... Also, it's a, is, sorry to cut you off, uh, but I, I really want to get this. Uh, is it to say, like, sometimes you want to hear what I think when I see the work? Yeah. Because sometimes you might have a profound understanding beyond what I actually... You know, portrayed. You know, because I could portray, let's say, 
um, let's say I could actually just have a documentary photography type of a lady by, by, by the palm seeker, right? Yeah. Then someone comes and is like, you know, this person looks happy and you didn't see that. I'm like, oh, damn, this lady yeah. actually looks happy. And you're like, ah, oh, maybe in life you don't need much at all for you to actually be happy. So, I mean, this lady, she's, you know, content with her life and, you know, her job and, you know, her making these two senses a day and, you know, her getting, maybe she gets home to a respectful husband and, you know, uh, a respectful kids and, a, you know, just a loving home. She looks that, but she's working, a, you know, a simple job. Yeah. Then I'm just like, damn, I just took a picture of the lady by the Bamsika. Then you start questioning yourself, was this the reason why I actually took a picture of this lady? Yeah. Is it because she was just happy and lively and she looked good, like... Everything is good, sense, right? like, and then now it gets you thinking. Just because of what other, per what another person thought, you know. So, you know, when you have those interactions with people like who actually observe your art, because sometimes I actually just have some friends just tell me about what they think, you know. Yeah. Um, the ones that actually kind of have an understanding of, you know. <laughs> the depths of art sometimes because like sometimes someone will look at your art and be like oh and what what are you doing <laughs> yeah i mean that uh, this is just robots abstract doing. yeah art, isn't it? yeah i mean but in a way art is as abstract as life bro mm. yeah if if you really try you know put something you know it's like put an x onto something you know, it's like a muramba sometimes you squeeze it you like, and you think you got it and then you just squeeze it out of your hand, yeah. you know. So, you know, the, like how life is abstract and our art is abstract. Sometimes an art piece, like I said, could mean different things to yeah, different people. Different people. And so does life, bro. Like some people think of bad situations as opportunities to learn. Some people look at bad situations as just people, chances to complain yeah. and blame spirits. Yeah. But like, I don't know, <laughs> you know, Who what knows? is the right way to live? Who knows? Right? There's, there's, <laughs> like if you see an abstract art piece here, you don't know whether it's look at it in portrait, Lens. landscape, <laughs> upside down. Is it supposed yeah. to be squonk? You know? It, it's so, it's yeah. funny you say that. I went to uh, Delta Gallery last year. Uh, I love there that. was a piece by <laughs> Chrissy of Kwasi. <laughs> And so <laughs> the one with the black Hanzi. I've forgotten the name, yeah. right? So it's but it's gonna show on her item. I posted it on my IG and then yeah. she DM'd me and she's like, I, I love that you love that, but it's upside down. <laughs> it was For hung real. upside down. For real. Yeah, she tasted me and I'm like, oh, oh what oh, I, I, oh, I just was that intentionally? It. I don't think it was intentionally. I think it was like a time thing where things were like being done at uh, like the last minute. Right. But I, I didn't perceive that. I just took whatever I took from it as it was and I laughed about it when she tasted me. Man. So I just thought of it when, oh, you, when you're hard, talking man. about it. Chris like, is actually hard, man. Really dope. Really yeah, good. she's like spiritually really attuned, man. Really good. Yeah, she's really good peeps, one, man. One of one. One of yeah. <laughs> Shout out Tino. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>